All of these websites were created with AI. And believe me or not, companies will pay you a lot of money if you know how to create this type of stuff with a lot of animations. They will pay you just because this type of designs are not easy to create, but with AI, it is very easy and anyone can do that. So like, for example, this kind of website, this website, all of these type of websites were created with Lovable, with Figma, with Figma AI. And I will be showing you how to do that. I'll be showing you how to then sell this to the clients on Upwork, on social medias, because now it is very easy to get started making your own money. I am personally made more than 100,000 on Upwork. It just shows 90 because it's not updating every day. But I have made over 100,000 doing AI projects, doing stuff with Lovable, doing stuff with Figma Make, building websites, but not customly, but building them with Figma Make, and then maybe hiring a developer to implement that in Webflow if a client specifically specifies to build that in Webflow or Framer, or building that in Lovable. And then again, I can uh, just delegate it to someone to build it for me. But yeah, this level of design is not only possible, but it is necessary in today's world to to know how to make money now wordpress websites like like these are will not convert you like if you suggest a client this type of website he will not pay you anything but if you come to the client and if you show him websites of this kind of quality and you can say to him that i will build it for you for free and then you pay it to me if you like he will 100 percent agree like this type of websites can be done very easily with ai and i'm really happy that you found this video in this video i will be more covering on how you can sell these websites to the clients how you can create these small cups to the clients that were very fast just put their logo update the copy and then send it to the clients and then how you can actually do it on upwork how you can do it on social media so for starters i want you to pick a niche and the niche i'm picking and i would suggest others to pick specifically because it's low competition is SaaS and tech websites for SaaS companies for agencies kind of these kind of uh very design heavy websites not those of your like construction sites because this would be a lot of people would not want to do this because it's hard to create but having the tools that i'll be covering you will be able to do that and yeah so let's start by just uh, going to upwork and i'll show you the exact strategy that i use to uh, convert clients to give them free samples of my job and then to to close them for a few thousands of dollars so i'm really happy you found this video and i'm excited to explain to you everything so as you can see a lot of jobs here would be related to webflow but that's not a problem again we can just hire someone to build that in webflow you don't have to learn that so let's just open one job for example this one as you can see he says i have a website developed in webflow in webflow but it has some problems and i need someone to come in and clean up a few sections so let's just open this website and let's just take a look at what he's referring to so what i can do right off the top of my head is i know this is a templated website there is a webflow template from this side so i can start it there but i will do very easily so everyone can follow this so now I can just bring this website to Figma and I will not edit it by ourselves. I will just use AI to clean up this website to make sure that it looks better and not this uh, crowded and stuff. But I don't have to do it by our, by myself and I wouldn't want to do it because I have other stuff to do. So let's just convert it to Figma. It will take me probably like a few seconds. And now here I can just go and uh, click plugins here, HTML to design. To just bring it over to figma here let's now convert it here so this is a free plugin called html to design this is basically allows you to just bring the designs to figma and here you can edit anything just like this and with very easily we can just use ai to just improve this design right, let's just wait until we have this site loaded So let's click add to canvas here. And it'll take a few seconds to load up. It gives you 10 credits a month. I'm not paying by this, by the way, and I'm not sponsored by them. Just the tool that I've been using and that I think is pretty cool. So now that we have it here, let's just do it like this. So now that we have this website in Figma, we can start actually improving it and editing it. And some of you might ask a question, why put all of this effort if you don't even know if client will respond to you? First of all, it's not too much effort because 
it's going to do by AI. And uh, the second one is that we're going to do one thing to solve this problem on, of client not seeing your proposal. I'll show you the exact thing you need to do to make sure that client will see your proposal 100%. So this is guarantee way to do that. So now I'll just clean up a few things to make sure that AI don't have any difficulty working in it. Like for example, I'm going to drop all of these blurs and stuff because AI is probably not that good with that, but like we can just clean up a little bit, not too much. Maybe we can remove that thing from the background. So what I'm doing is trying to select that. Yeah, now it's done. So what I think is they need specific improvements is with this. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to drop all of this for now and then I can just put it back once AI finishes editing this stuff. I'm also going to remove the background and just select this thing in the background here, trying to select this, give it a background color, and then just remove the background from here, then just extend the background until the rest. And I'm just going to copy the client's description of this website. So I'm going to go to, back to Upwork, back to this project, and I'm going to say this case status. I'm just going to copy that and I'm just going to go to AI. So any AI that you're using, whether it's a Figma, whether it's Lovable, I'm just showing you with Figma because I'm in Figma right now, but I can do absolutely the same with Lovable so I can bring it to I'm trying to find the back, the design. So I can just bring this to Lovable the same way and just ask it to edit. So let's just send that and see what it creates. So this is the first result that we've got. As you can see, the cards look much better. Don't look at the background. We're going to fix that post in Figma. We can just copy that this very easily back to Figma and make any edits we want. But for now, let's say that it should add different filters and make articles features at the top of the page. And then under that, some other headline plus categories plus the rest of the articles, smaller designs that are not features. So let's send that and see what it creates. By the way, this is the template that this company uses. Let's check it out. Maybe they have some interesting design elements that we can just take. Let's say we're going to click on the pages and we have here blog. Let's see how they created it. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. And we can actually copy that back to Figma as well. So let's just use the plugin to bring it also to Figma. And so let's go back to our design. We can see that lovable uh, AI, Figma AI updated that. So now I click on this and now I can just bring the, the design back to Figma. So let's say we have that somewhere here and I can just paste this here. And as you can see, the difference is already big. We have much cleaner UI for all of this stuff, but now we're going to make it even better. So let's find our, let's bring back this design to Figma from the browser. So now that we brought it to Figma, we can edit it. The only thing it didn't bring is the background. So I'm going to just go on the side that the client referenced and I'm going to just take a screenshot of this. So let's make a screenshot of the background just like this. And now I can just paste it here. And let's see, we have, uh, let's see, uh, we have, let's make it a bit rounded corners. And just like that, we can just say transforming business basically adding his headline here so our client success stories and stuff like this he liked that so we can keep this thing at the top but we can also keep the this one so now i can move everything down or i can just not do it i can just ask like copy this and say design it in this style redesign it redesign this in in this style and AI will all do all the heavy lifting. So I don't really have to do that. Uh, so change content, apply everything as it needs to be. And let's just send it. After a few prompts, we've got this result. So now we can go basically here and just update everything with the client's cards. So for the feature card, we'll have this. Let's move these down the page. And I'm going to paste the feature card here at the top. Obviously, I'm going to change the style from this gradients that AI is 
very often unfortunately works with i'm gonna just drop that and i'm also gonna update the color so for this we're gonna do the same as here let's just do that and let's make it dark the same here so we're keeping all of the content that client outlined we're just changing few details to make it look much nicer and then we can just up update it to the client and show him everything so we have categories and then we have the rest of this stuff so let's say we're gonna have similar to this cards i'm getting inspired by these cards and then i'm just gonna update that based on that so let's paste that and let's copy the styles just like this and paste those there and let's just also copy instead of these categories that ai created we're gonna paste these ones let's just send that and let's also update the um, the styles of the content the text so i'm gonna copy this style to make it a bit larger i'm gonna paste it on the side and then we're just gonna re change a bit of this stuff and let's lastly change the color and here we have beautifully designed their section let's just copy their hero basically now bar from the client's website we can just do a screenshot of this and just paste this so it looks like it was made customly for them let's align it to the center and now i can just record a video and show everything to the client showing that hey here we made this design for you and basically the, what we're going to do to make sure that the client 100% replies to it, let's actually also kind of take a screenshot of their footer and this section as well. So these three sections we have here at the bottom, I'll move this thing here. Let's paste it and let's just put it at the bottom. So now all I have to do is just record the video and also the client said on Upwork that he will basically, uh, if you can provide some mockups, please provide me some examples, sites in addition. Oh yeah, uh, if you provide some simple mockups of modification you propose that will help make my decisions. So basically if we do this, we will 100% get the job and we can then work with clients, show them our pricing, et cetera, et cetera. So this is it for creating the design. If you wanna learn how to create design fully with AI, all of the process that I use, go to designrocket.io and you'll learn everything to build this types of website. I'll go full in details here, but now let's just make sure we're working to send it to the client. And for that, I'm just gonna basically choose any recording screen. So I'll use usually clean shot and I'll just record screen or basically just use Loom because you can send a link to that. And so I'll pre I'll pretend that I'm recording video for the client. So I would say, hey, here's the design that I made based on your references. So I've made changes to the hero section. I made it much more cleaner. I added some categories and also the cards itself are much more cleaner now. We have beautiful headlines and beautiful cards. Obviously it is not final yet. It is just mockup and Figma that I made but I would like to work with you to make it the way that you want it to look. So we have then the, the, uh, all of the categories and all of the articles that are not featured. And then we have basically your content, which is this. So yeah, uh, let me know if you'd like to uh, get on a quick call and we can discuss how we can work together. And you would just copy the link and on Outwork, you can boost your proposal. So whenever you send a proposal, you have the ability to boost it. And whenever you boost it, then it will mean that client will 100% see it uh, if they go on Outwork and if they check the job, obviously. So once you boost it, um, yeah, so the client will see it and you'll have a very, very likely chance that the client will respond and you will start working on this project. So yeah, this is the simple project process for that and for just customizations again very easy to customize everything i showed you how to change the text how to ch apply everything and how to send the concept for the review and you can also export this as a pdf you can attach it so in figma you have this ability i'll hide the ui i'll show them basically how it's done 
So I'll frame this selection and there is this ability to export in any of these types. You can export as a PDF and also attach it to your Loom video. So the client has something that is really made by you or you can just send a link to this. And yeah, but also you can do the same in Lovable and in Lovable you have the ability to just do it much, much faster, I'd say, because Lovable works much faster than Figma Make. You can just copy the design from their site. So I'll show you on this example. You can go to the client's website. Let's just refresh the page. You can use the plugin Div Magic. I don't currently have the subscription, but it costs $9 a month. And once you do that, you can copy the, the whole site, basically the code of this site, and you can paste it in Lovable and you can say make improvements to this design and make sure that it looks better and it will just work magic and yeah let me know if you'd like to get more of these types of videos and thank you for watching